What's stepping on burning campfire embers feel like? Let four-year-old Orion tell you. I I stepped on fire and it was not um on, and then it was sound on it and I feel like when I stepped in it, I feel like spikes. It happened Sunday. Orion and his family were enjoying the Lincoln City Kite Festival. As Orion ran on the beach, he stepped on a campfire that had just been covered with sand. I turn around to hear my kids screaming very loudly. Something I've never heard this scream from him before, ever. Orion suffered second degree burns. The doctor told his mom Orion was the second child to come in after stepping on a hidden campfire. He said it's it's pretty unfortunate, but he, these two kids are probably not the only two we'll see today. As a kid probably wouldn't uh, run purposefully into hot coals. Lieutenant Michael Snodgrass and his crew from Gresham Fire showed us the proper and improper ways to put out a beach fire. He says just covering the fire with sand will not put it out. In fact, by covering it up with sand, uh, that's how you keep the embers uh, ignited. Coals were still producing a heat of 270 degrees Fahrenheit. Snodgrass says you need to completely douse the embers with water and stir everything up. If it's too hot to touch, he says it's too hot to leave alone. And I know it's just a little bit more effort, but I think if you went back and asked the people that put the fire out by covering up with sand, would they be willing to do it now? I think they would say yes. A special thanks to our friends at Gresham Fire for that demonstration. According to OSP, if you leave an improperly extinguished fire, you can be cited for recklessly endangering another person. Laurel. But people really like their beach campfire, something really important to keep in mind. Thank you, Catherine.